all masters say go turn inwards turn your ideas inwards travel inwards seek yourself within some practical suggestions how, how one does how one goes about this so i don't know what somebody else is saying because as i told you my main sadhana has to has been to remain uneducated and uninfluenced by anything around me is it is it true that who you are today as a physical entity happened to you from outside is it true I think you, many of you have been constantly attending spiritual discourses. That's why you learned this, it doesn't matter what ridiculous stuff I ask, you'll say <laughs> Training, spiritual discourse training, whatever they say. Is it true that you created your body from outside? Is it true? Hmm? They're saying yes, what is the problem? Did you create this body from inside or outside? From inside. So the source of creation is within. When the body was this small also, it was there, now also it's there, isn't it? So why is it that you're not in touch with it? It is very simple as we went through this already, your sense organs are outward bound, that's the reason. You need to understand this. Suppose as a child, you were lost in the jungle, no contact with any other human being and something edible came in front of you, would you take it and stuff it into your ears? Tell me yes or no? No. You would know where to put it. No training. Your mother did not tell you how to eat, but still would you know where to put it? Yes. So all the things that concern your survival process, nobody need to teach you. Anyway, it is built into the system. Anything beyond survival, if you have to know, then you need striving. Do you remember when you're four, five years of age, just to write A, B, C, how complicated it was, hmm? The damn A, you had to write it one hundred times to get it right, isn't it so? Do you remember? Just A, three lines, how complex it looked to you at that time. Today if I ask you to write without thinking, without even a thought on your mind, you can just write. Why? Because of the striving that you put in there, isn't it? If that striving was not there, even today your condition would be same, isn't it so? To put those three lines you would still struggle, struggle. So you need to understand this, anything beyond survival process will not yield to you unless you strive for it. Now, the question that you're asking is, can you give me some tips here, how to turn inward? Yes, I can give you tips. But obviously you're already a veteran, you've been to many places, you've heard many people and it's not worked. Do you want this place also not to work for you? <laughs> Are you determined about that? No. If that is so, don't ask for suggestions. I don't give any suggestions to anybody nor advices to anybody. There are methods. If you explore these methods, you will naturally turn inward. Instead of going through a process, you are trying to intellectualize everything, it's like this. Somebody wrote, see all these spiritual books that you read, if you're reading them, it's a sure way to see that you will never be spiritual. Yes, because you will know all the jargon, but nothing will happen within you. Because you will intellectualize everything, everything what should have been a living experience, you will make it into knowledge, that's not going to work. So there are simple methods. Now. What we are offering as inner engineering is essentially this. If you give me twenty-eight hours of focused time, your time, if you give me twenty-six to twenty-eight hours of focused time, I will build a vehicle for you, which will naturally transport you inward. But you want it today evening. Uh, turn inward. <laughs> slogan, it's not going to work. <laughs>